Good morning, friends. My name is Reverend Carla Leitner, the Associate Minister at Unity San Diego, here on a beautiful Monday morning, September 14th. And I hope everyone is doing well this morning and ready to start a new week. So I talked the other day about the six day prayer practice, which is a powerful, powerful practice. Now I've been doing it and thank you, Aline from our prayer ministry and Julie who sent me the digital version of that. Mine is copied from a book. So it written on and scribbled on, um, but I find it such a powerful practice. And so I'd like to go over that a little bit with you today. And also to realize that, um, it was written a really long time ago. And so some of the language is um, different than the language that we know. And so some of the expressions that are used are race consciousness. And that means a vast con consciousness, that feeling of duality, that consciousness that there's good and evil, and that feeling of lack and separation. That's called the mass consciousness or what we would call the Adamic from Adam consciousness. And so some of these words that mean something else in our time now, back then that that meant something different. So, but it's so powerful. And I think whenever we feel that things are going all over the place or we have questions or we, jump out of, everybody falls out of their spiritual sense there, that perfection. Everybody jumps into their humanness because we are here human. And for me, when I, you know, lose my way or I start to, monkey mind starts to chatter, I remember, I have to go back to the founders of Unity where I chose to become a minister and, and be my, uh, and be here for my spiritual experience in unity. I go back to our roots, our roots with Charles and Myrtle Fillmore, our roots in prayer and what and metaphysics and what actually brought me to unity in the first place. And I feel like that's a grounding place. And so I'd like to share that grounding with you. Today's daily word is about grace and letting go and, and you'll know, not also uh, holding on to the consequences and the way that to an event and how it plays out. And then also plays in with the six day prayer practice today. So again, I stress the importance of having a denial before you do an affirmation and just erasing, erasing those things that no longer serve us. Just speaking that they no longer have a hold on our consciousness. Yes, things happen, we do get upset, but it's whether we stayed relishing and reveling in that uh, that upsetness or whether it's just nya, 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 nya on our minds, you know, for a long time. Can I, you know, so I had a bad day and I said something I didn't mean, now is it going over and over in my head and, or can I let it go? Can I let it go? And realize that you, can, you have to start again. Each moment is a new opportunity to remind ourselves of the Christ presence, remind ourselves of that presence of the God of our understanding within us, and to remind ourselves that there is a better way, there is a spiritual way. Reverend Edith talked yesterday about going home, not going home to where we lived, although that was part of what she talked about, but going home within. Because when we look for where we are truly at home, that hole within that so many of us have felt, I call it our God hole. And that's where we need to go to find who we truly are and to become grounded. So today, friends, I'd like to go over this Six day prayer meditation for Monday. So here's our denial. I deny I am no longer foolish or ignorant and the foolishness and ignorance of ancestry can no longer be visited upon me. I'm free from the foolishness and the ignorance of race and of those with whom I associate. 
the foolishness and the ignorance which may have been treasured up by my own understanding are now erased. So I just like to go over that in 21st century terms. So to me, this says that those ingrained things that no longer serve me, the things that my parents believe, that their parents believed, and things that they ingrained in me that no longer serve me, I'm ready to release them. And I'm ready to release those who are on their own journey and their journey does not serve me. I'm ready to release and let go that which is not to my highest good. And I'm also re ready to let go those feelings I have about myself, those understandings, those error thoughts that I've had. I'm ready to let them go. They don't have power over me. They don't control my life. Yes, I may slip into something like that. I may say something or feel a certain way. Maybe I feel someone's against me or feel, but that lasts a minute. It doesn't go on and on and on. So that's how a denial doesn't have power over us. Yes, we may feel ignorant. Maybe something our parents said came up or something that you know didn't serve us came up. But it didn't control our lives. It didn't wreak our soul. And so we can deny that it has any power over us anymore. Here's the affirmation. I am wise with the wisdom of infinite mind. And I have knowledge of all things. I know that I am pure intelligence. And I hereby claim my divine right to light, life, and liberty in all goodness, wisdom, love, and purity. Let the light of wisdom appear and the ignorance of human thought vanish. What a wonderful affirmation. Inviting us to go within in spirit and see the bigger picture and to see that there really is no lack. There is no limitation and there is no separation. And to let that human thinking go. So I invite you friends now to just take a moment Go in with me, go in deep with him. Allow spirit to guide you, to direct you, to see that there is no separation. We are all one. We are all one, each and every one of us, exactly where we need to be on our spiritual path. And as we allow the God of our understanding to work in and as and through us, we become better people. Because as we process and ground ourselves, we become centered. That centeredness, that peace, that security and love, it starts to show in our lives with a calmness, with a, with a confidence, with a love that comes from deep within. And it's so refreshing, so refreshing to be able to stop, pause, and center at any time. So let's take a moment to go within. I invite you now to set aside anything you're holding in your hands, anything you're holding in your consciousness. Wiggle out a bit. Close your eyes if you feel moved. Get into a comfortable position. And just take this time to relax. Let's take a breath. Let it go. Let's just take another breath. And let that go too. Releasing any of our worries, any of our to-do lists, anything that might be stressing our mind. Letting go of any outcomes, knowing that spirit, the God of our understanding, divine order is putting everything in place, allowing us to let that flow within us as the stream flows over the rocks in the, in the little pond, in the little lake. The water flows and we just flow with it knowing that we might bump up against some rocks. But if we allow spirit to do that, 
to handle things, if we give our burdens and allow spirit to lead the way, we don't have to hold that burden. We don't have to hold those error thinking, those thoughts of lack and limitation. We can let them go. We can give it all to the God of our understanding. Relax, knowing that we are pure intelligence. We are perfect and whole, just as we are. And as we take the time to ponder these thoughts and to release anything that's not serving us, we listen to the voice of the God of our understanding in the silence. as I allow the light of wisdom to appear, as I allow spirit to work in as and through me, I let go. And I say, thank you, thank you, thank you, God, for allowing me to be a conduit of your spirit, for allowing me to express individually the love, the guidance, the direction, the unity, the peace and the love, along with the joy it is my divine inheritance. And as I express this in my life, it spreads to others, to my family, my friends, my coworkers, to my city, my state, my country, and to the world. We know that we are exactly where we need to be as we flow and let God work through us with ease and grace. And we say, thank you, thank you, God. And so it is. Amen. I invite your friends to wiggle out. Take a breath and come back to the present. Knowing you can access that inner guidance at any time with a breath. Any time during the day. You don't have to wait until you have a problem or an issue. You can start your day in the silence and you can end your day in the silence with peace and with gratitude, focusing on the positive, focusing on unity and oneness and focusing on the blessings that you want the universe to bring into your life. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful Monday and rest of the week. Namaste.